This is Vince with Bulldog Rooter on job number 34190108. This is an upload video. Got called out for the customer's main line backing up. We began cabling from the 4 inch clean out in the basement and ran our cable out about 95 feet. And that first pass, the line drained down. We followed up with the camera, and as you can see, we've got it sitting at the city sewer. It's 85 feet from the customer's basement clean out. We're pulling back into their private line. Stub out's clay, and then, it, or I'm sorry, stub out's concrete. And this is where it transitions to clay, that kind of darker yeah. orange material. Yeah. That's four inch clay. There you can see the line changing direction. That's totally normal to have that little bit of a lip there as they change direction. Same there, you can see it's actually there dropping at a very aggressive angle. So here's the transition. 4 inch clay to 4 inch Orangeburg. That's 55 feet from the clean out, approximately 30 feet back from the city sewer. So Orangeburg pipes always are concerned when we begin cabling the line, but this one actually didn't look too bad. It's 1958, it makes it 64 years old. See a little bit of a channel starting to wear down at the bottom, but a little yeah. bit of a blister there too, right at right here. Yeah, and that's that's a very minor blisters precipitate the channel rot. Basically, water gets under one layer of the fiber and it swells up, and then it kind of just breaks away. And then that happens enough. Eventually, there's no more pipe on the bottom. The bottom of the pipe from this perspective is the left hand screen where the light is the brightest. A little bit of ovalization here, um, not major, just a little bit of deformation. It should be perfectly circular, but you know, the earth weighs down on it. So here's some residual roots. We were able to remove about 85-90% of this with our two inch blade. So roots, first root intrusion we see pulling back is at 37 feet. Past that, there was nothing obstructing the line. A little bit more of a channel worn through there, as you can see. And now there's roots at almost every joint. Again, we've got this almost completely removed. Yeah. It's wanting to come in from the right, mainly, it looks like. There's some solid waste buildup on top of the pipe, and that tells us that's mm -hmm. where the clog was forming, for the most part. You can see right here, the top right corner of the screen, there's a little, like a hairline fracture. Yeah. That's normal for the age. Um, that kind of precipitates the line eventually collapsing, but again, for being 64 years old, this looks pretty good for Orangeburg. Okay. So there's a cast iron fitting. That's a 45 degree turn or a 22, it's hard to tell. Um, they use cast iron just because there's no such thing as an orange bird fitting. So if the line changes direction like yours does, mm -hmm. they have to have cast iron fittings. A little more hairline fracture at the top. Blister. Blister here. So here, the line does transition from orange bird outside of the house to cast iron running under the slab. That's at about 18 feet from the clean out. Cast irons, a little bit of a little bit of flaking and pitting, but it's not bad. There's a four inch tie into the cast iron there, 14 feet from us. And coming up here, you'll be able to see where the basement bathroom was plumbed in. They transition from cast to ABS. There's a two inch tie in for the shower drain, most likely. Mm -hmm and three inch tie in for the toilet. And that's all tying in from the lines left, which makes sense because those fixtures are slightly left of the path of the line. 
we're pulling up and out of the basement cleanout. This is where the work was performed today. This concludes the video inspection. Thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter.